I've been a physicist, a, a scientist for several years now and uh, as I've got that bit older I've realised just how important it is for the general public, that that's everyone to really appreciate what science is, what it's about. One of the problems that, that I see is that so many people think science is about men in white coats, about boffins in a, locked away in a lab somewhere doing some work utterly unrelated to um, modern society. And that's just not true. But we, we need to let the, let the public know just what it is that we scientists actually do and that it is important for their everyday lives. So I've been doing several things, several methods of trying to engage the public in, in science and particularly for my case in physics because I'm a physicist. So one of them is Café Scientifique. The idea of Café Scientifique is that we take a practicing scientist and put him or her in a cafe. A cafe being a, an environment that's friendly um, to the general public, not a lecture theatre, and we get a discussion going about a particular area of science. So that is as much about the audience participating as it is about the scientists participating and gives everyone the chance to really communicate with a scientist and appreciate that area of work. And we've been running those in Hamilton for five or six years and they've been very successful. Another thing that I do is keep a physics blog and uh, that's really just drawing out everyday events that happen but where they involve a little bit of physics, just explaining what that physics is. Also I like um, being in schools and really encouraging um, school children to, to their best potential in science and, and particularly physics. So one of the things I do is look at those students who are um, looking for scholarship physics, um, sitting NZQA scholarship. It's a hard exam. They need some particular work behind them. Um, and they do need some some help generally um, and I'm quite prepared to give that uh, because children um, are future scientists and we need to educate them the best we can.